Hello friends, welcome back. In this session, I am going to give you a quick update on what all the challenges that one could face with IoT security. We have got an analysis that has conveyed us that there are few things that we can literally connect it very easily to understand these initial set of challenges. I think this session will give you an idea about the fundamental challenges that we are facing. Security approaches normally depend on the encryption. Most of the security approaches, whenever we take about it, it depends on the encryption. But when you go about IoT, the entire environment is all about constrained environments and the devices are also constrained devices, which means that they are not having so much of luxury in terms of resource availability, in terms of memory, in terms of processor speed, in terms of many things, they are constrained actually, even including power. So when you go with encryption, it is really not a good fit for this constrained environment or constrained devices. And this complex encryption and decryption may really take time. For this constrained devices, it might not really work well. So these products with constrained resources are mostly vulnerable to the side channel attacks and reverse engineering of the algorithms is also possible. So it is not a great idea to really go with encryption techniques towards the constrained IoT environment. This is the first challenge that we normally face. Second one, the device authorization is not a separate work. It also goes with authentication. The device authorization must go hand in hand with authentication and is pretty critical when it comes to IoT products because you are not only authorizing but also you need to authenticate. So uh, the one who tries to uh, access this must establish their identity before proceeding further with the gateway access and to other cloud resources. So IoT platform with the two uh, factor authentication and usage of strong passwords are the major ones that we are uh, relying on till now. So you need to think about this aspect of the security, authentication and authorization both are to be really, really very good. This is the point that you need to remember. The third aspect, the device updates. Whenever you have a device, it, it gets updates these days in terms of firmware update or something. Security patches, firmware or the software will have number of challenges. Means every day, every second, every, uh, every now and then, we see that there are a lot of uh, uh, new security threats are coming in. And how do we address it? We normally address it uh, through the patches and the security firmware updates. So these updates are to be really, really very good. And this might not be feasible or possible with every IoT device. So how do we handle it? Do we really have a chance to go ahead and update the firmware of every IoT device with respect to the newly incoming attacks? In that case, that is fine. But there are some cases where you really may not have an opportunity to go ahead and update the firmware because of constrained environments and all those stuff. So many a times, the device owner may not also show much interest in applying an update. This very important point. We also skip it when we are too busy or when we are having some other task in mind which is much more important than what we are doing. Without forgetting the importance of the security update, we skip or we postpone this uh, security updates. So that's the major uh, problem that we are facing and that's one of the biggest challenges. How do we let the end users understand that the security updates are important? How do we motivate them to go for the patch updates? And how do the makers really produce or give an update which is uh, in, in line with all the attacks that are uh, created every now and then? We are getting a lot of attacks every now and then. So how do we face it then? The next point. The communication channel needs to be much secured. The encrypting messages before transfer is good, but the better one is to use the transport encryption and to adapt the standards like TLS. See this point here, in the communication channels, when you are about to send before that you encrypt and send it. The first point that we said is the encryption that is happening in the devices, but now we are talking about the channel. So there is a, a lot of difference between those two points. So understand the difference. And when you talk about the vulnerabilities, it can be cost constraints, it can be expertise constraints, it can be non-updation of the software by the customers, it can be the market created by the mandate for speedy deployment. When it has to be fast, it cannot go for a multiple checking that is that has to happen to make sure that the system is secure and operational constraints. All these are the major security vulnerabilities that we are facing when we deploy any IoT devices. And the fifth point, the sensor data should be stored and processed securely. The sensor data may come from different sensors 
it is attached to different equipment all the different equipment could be at different places so it is a challenge we need to make sure that the data integrity has to be maintained including some checksums or signatures that can be included to make sure that the original raw data is not modified during the transfer what i mean is i have generated the data the data should go to the destination and in between the data should not be changed so what do we do we have checksums we have other methods we can make sure that the data order is not changed and all those are to be practiced and most important point the data that you think is not required anymore should be removed don't keep any dust there don't keep any uh, garbage data which is not at all important retaining that data will increase the complexity and will cost us more in the maintenance part of it now last point all the applications and services should also be secure this is most important i have got a layer over and above which i have a application layer many applications can be involved there i can install multiple applications they are also to be secured so the breaches if it comes through the applications that you have installed that's going to be a problem these are all the fundamental aspects of the security challenges that everybody face in deploying an iot application the first one is about the devices and their capacity and the problems related to the constraints the second one is all about the authorization and the authentication the third one is all about the updates the fourth one is about the channel the fifth one is about how to retain the data that is collected and how to make sure that the data collected is sent in the same format that it has been collected the last one is about the applications that are installed over and above the existing layers with this i conclude the session i'll come back to you in my next session where i will take a couple of simple case studies and i can explain you how the security threat can go right into the field thank you very much for following my channel if you have any queries suggestions inputs please go ahead and type it in the comment section i'll be more than happy to solve them thank you